everybody. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Billy Bell versus Michael Ward, number seven versus number 10 on a rainy, stormy night in West Tennessee. We got Mason Bush judging this cast. Uh, these guys are fighting for a chance at a world championship or a shot at a world championship. This moves one of these guys maybe into the top three or four, maybe into the top five or six, and uh, get him a chance at that title shot possibly. So without further ado, I know everybody's been waiting a long time. Let's get right into it. He's, he's on right now. He's, you know, the way out back just a few weeks ago, <clears throat> which we've had we've been in a, what I call a severe drought. Um, very, we ain't had hardly any rain um, to mount to anything. Um, I, you know, he, and he's not a missing dog, but he, he got to missing a, a little bit. Um, I even thought it could be, because the dog had, um, when we bought the dog, I went to my cousin's a vet and had him checked out. He did test positive for early or leaky, which most of them will. Most of them, that's a yeah. common thing, that, especially now. And he's how we travel all around. You, you're gonna pick up a tick or libel to and have that disease. So anyway, I started him on some doxycycline uh, right when we got him, and there he was looking. Uh, well, when we first got the dog, it was coming summer into into spring, coming summer. He was looking phenomenal. Uh, I, I took him first Pro Classic. We we had these little four hundred dollar mm -hmm. PKC Pro Classics, uh, like they done everywhere. Tennessee had a series, and I took him one, one in Gibson, and uh, he treated three singles in a might have been a ninety minute cast, but he just looked outstanding. That that, that cast, and I went back to uh, Ripley had one. I took him back down there, and he look really good. Uh, right about middle summer, I was hunting him out of, a, out of a Gibson Club, a little $100 hunt they had. And he got way in there and got treed. And um, I drove around to him in the cast, and I walked, had to go behind a house, and he was he was treed right behind a man's house. And I walked, I seen the coon going in, and I, he's got a good handle. I said, come here, Rock. And he come off to me. He was holding his... Uh, right leg up and I, and I thought he got snake bit it's middle summer um I thought man that dude got snake bit coming through here somewhere and um uh, carried him back to the house started I, I loaded him up with Benadryl uh penicillin, just treat him like a snake bite week or so went by though he wouldn't get no better and I'm like man, I need to rethink his snake bite so I, I carried him to my cousin he he done an x-ray come find out he broke it he broke his somehow he broke it yeah. don't still don't know how he did it. don't know if he got it hung in a fence went down a bank on a, you know hung it on the roof I, I have no idea uh, put a big splint on him kept him up for pretty much all summer from and about that time is when we we got end up buying spice girl yep. so i kind of just put him aside started you know carrying her and you know, she's, she's been a phenomenal dog for us this, since we got her. Um, and she came in heat here a while back, and uh, Roger wanted to, you know, breed the shifter, and so right. we, that's what we did. And so the time she was pregnant, been with pups, I, I, I flew back on him and just got him just back, and he just back in the groove. I mean, it you know, he had a little time in the summer laid up, and, and I felt like maybe when I started back hunting, he wasn't as sharp. So I, you know, maybe some of that had to do with just being being set up, yep. getting over all that. And, but he's, he's, he's right now, like last weekend, he, if he keeps looking like that, I, I think we're gonna collect some more money. How do uh, how you think he's gonna fare in this head-to-head -head format? Because I know the times I've hunted with him, he strikes me as a dog that is tailor-made for these rules. Probably he, you know, I, the thing about Rock, and I think if you talk to whoever's hunted with him, I've said this the other day to whoever I can't remember who I was talking to, but Rock is a favorite to most everybody that's hunted with him. They everybody kind of falls in love with his style. He's yeah. just a coon dog from the, you know, he even looks like a coon dog. But you know, he just he's got 
he's big in stature. I mean, he's he holds his, he carries yeah. himself good. Um, got a good mouth. You can hear him. And he's simple. I've told everybody he's no. He, he's a handler's dream to have and hunt <clears throat> because he's 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 an easy dog to, to pinpoint and call. Yeah. He, he he barks a lot. You're going to know it's him immediately when you go out there barking, and you're going to hear him. He's going to go out with a track, and you know, and when he comes up, everybody knows. I mean, everybody knows he's straight because he's just a steady, just every breath tree dog. Um, oh, he. I mean, he's like I said, he's a handler's dream to hunt in a cat. Well, you're putting. There's a lot on the line here tonight. I know it's just an exhibition, but it's going to matter in the rankings. You got Ward at seven, I believe. You at ten. Yeah. And uh, you got to feel the voters are probably with the win here. They're going to swap you up into at least Ward's spot at seven, maybe even higher up in the six to five range. And then you're looking at a possible shot at the world champion, who also our number one contender, not quite world champion yet, happens to be walking along in this cast. I think yeah. he might be a little nervous too on that number one spot. Yeah, I mean, he wants to see the competition. Ain't he? I think he might be scouting you out. Mr. Yeah. John Strickland's <laughs> walking along here. So, uh, yeah, we're excited to have you, Billy. EHS debut and uh, maybe climb them rankings. Oh yeah, I, I think what you're doing with this is, is good for the sport. Uh, I appreciate you. You know, invite me and in getting to do this, and it, it's. Uh, I think it's going to be good for Kuna. Well, we're about to find out. I know the weather right now ain't very good for Kuna. I know. <laughs> or filming, but we're going to do right. our best. All right, folks, stay tuned for the EHS debut: Billy Bell versus Michael Ward. Man of the hour. <laughs> Strickland? Yes, sir. You're in that number one spot. Yes, sir. Come and check out the competition. You buddy. think one of these guys might be your next competitor? I'm checking them out. I'm here. Hey, I'm doing my due diligence. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? You can't talk bad. You got to stay in support. I'm out here learning from two of the best. Whatever you say, John. You're on camera, buddy. So you can't talk to me the way you normally do. <laughs> I'll save it. <laughs> I got some shot collars on. Yeah, I do. Mine's rigged, but. Beep, beep. Damn, that must be valuable dogs. They got two Why collars on. Why are you cussing on, each on camera? I said, dang, that must be valuable dogs. <laughs> they got two collars on each dog. Well, you're a millionaire that's too cheap to put two dogs. Two no. Dogs <laughs> you got a million in loans. <laughs> Y'all got them cleaned out? I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. I got you being filmed, dog. <laughs> There's a field over here to our left. They're safe anywhere they go. You come in across the middle. Got a collar? Yep. Got him! Good luck, Billy. <clears throat> Maybe I've got that bad memories for rock. <laughs> <coughs> Real professional. We'll have one more of those. Uh, <laughs> my phone's on silent. It's my watch that rang. Minutes up.
I had to keep my phone on in case one of our buddies went to jail or something. <laughs> he bailed out. Oh, my God. He got me on film tripping over one in the last week and it's not all. Mm. There's no sticks at all, y'all. We gotta do something about these babblers. <laughs> Best thing to do is just get one. <laughs> Fact. Can't we like make they had a six to change it to two or something in the middle of this thing? Mm -hmm. uh, Got a pickup truck with a dog box Slam full of hounds that don't know when to stop Tough old male, Rambo's his name He's quick on his feet, hell on game Got a little chip in the back of the pack She ain't real fast, but she's true on the track She's got to drive and she's got the guts And that's why she's gonna run with us It's in the blood in your veins, you can't Time is passed down through your family name. It's a pack of dogs coming through the pines. Lights of fire in a young boy's eyes. Just the word of the hound, it sounds just right. It's dog time. I got a dog and his name is Blue. Hi, this is Chip Kozier with Elite Nutrition. Many of y'all know me through Joy Dog Food, but I'm excited to bring Elite Nutrition's common sense approach to using our science to the hound community. Much like my granddad and dad brought you Joy Dog Food, we can bring you help with your tick-borne diseases, thyroid dogs, energy and hydration, wound care, and all of your breeding needs. Go to tryelitenutrition.com to check us out. I got a dog and his name is Blue. I got a dog and his name is Blue. And I bet you five dollars he's a good dog too. I sing ye Blue. You good dog you. It's old Blue come when I blow my horn.
Let's see. Let's see, honey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Three fat riggy. Should you duck points? Easier to dog the tree three than it is one. Yeah. How you feeling, Ward? I feel like I need to say another and I say, hey, Michael. Yeah, buddy. All right, we discussed it. You got a hundred on three, but you got to duck to 50. Yeah, so it gives you 50 and 50. How that? Well, one thing's a hundred, each additional thing's minus a quarter of piece. Oh, is there more than one? You had three, so we got a minus of fifty. Well, he just rounded them all up. <laughs> Four. Well, I'm just explaining to you. Not that you agree that three things you just trigger one thing, right? I think right? the only thing we agree on is that you need to <laughs> just touch for just a little bit. <laughs> for about a... <laughs> Iron 14 minutes, John, just keep it closed. Sit down. <laughs> That'll be a good job, Mike. Thank you. I feel like I'm hearing, but I can't tell. What's wrong? What's that? I I got him, though. You got him? I do. There you go. Dog tree for a hunt. In this direction, you want to... This is like the way it lays on this way. Okay. It's not right in the end yet. You just bolt that in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good, just you know, like a lot of
Might be a bad break right there, Michael. Mm -hmm. I knew when we cut him the other way and walked away from him, I was screwed. I do. This thing started on it. Rock tree, 100. You still running, Michael? Not good. Uh -uh. Unless you can hear off that good to there. I heard him bark on the ground once or twice. But I hey. Judge his death. <laughs> hey. What are you gonna do if rock slick right here? I'm gonna be tickled, but I still think I need to try another. I'm ready. What do you mm hmm about back here, Strick? I about tripped and fell. <laughs> he said, I'm about gas he said, mm-hmm. <laughs> I needed my hiking boots. How do you think old Blue would have fared in this car? Oh, old Blue would probably be back at the truck hiking. My record ain't scary. I can see how it'd go either way. We're gonna go back this way. Between uh, a couple of thick spots and raindrops hitting me right now, I'm gonna start to. I'd say a week from now, she couldn't do it. But. Three <laughs> all had change of bill, it might drop a lot easier.
got a lefty struck in three. 25 and 100. Is it all 25 or go back to 50? It's all 25. Well, he's a mile and a half, so let's go that way. That's where he's at. Oh, yeah. <coughs> he's got a question mark, but that's where he's at. Pretty much straight down the bottom, I know. He stopped in the gold spot, did you, Michael? This ridge is the only thing that saved me. Back up to the truck. Yeah, that's how we just get the truck come on and get you. Over to the bottom. You know where he's at? Just in the one second. Yeah, I got three off. Rock three. Don't worry. All right, folks, as you can tell, we have a <clears throat> good one shaping up for you right here. Lefty treed 1.58 miles away. Uh, as we were walking to Lefty, Rock gets treed. So, if Lefty has this coon, that puts him in the lead. And if Rock has his, we'll have another, another lead change and possibly the hunt, hunt over. Uh, there's not a lot of time left right here. Uh, you'll be able to see that on the clock. And it, it's getting getting exciting. Uh, these guys really want to win this thing. This is for, you know, a potential world championship matchup and to stay in the top 10. And so uh, they want this pretty bad and it is exciting. So stay tuned for one more look at our sponsors who you need to make sure and thank because they are the ones that make all this possible. So uh, we'll get back to it right after this quick commercial break. I got a dog and his name is Blue. Hi, this is Chip Kozier with Elite Nutrition. Many of y'all know me through Joy Dog Food, but I'm excited to bring Elite Nutrition's common sense approach to using our science to the hound community. Much like my granddad and dad brought you Joy Dog Food, we can bring you help with your tick-borne diseases, thyroid dogs, energy and hydration, wound care, and all of your breeding needs. Go to tryelitenutrition.com to check us out. Ooh, I got a dog and his name is Blue. I got a dog and his name is Blue. And I bet you five dollars he's a good dog too. I sing ye Blue. You good dog, you. It's yes, old Blue, come when I blow my horn. Get 
Got a pickup truck with a dog box Slam full of hounds that don't know when to stop Until the old mail Rambo's his name He's quick on his feet Hell on game Got a little chip in the back of the pack She ain't real fast But she's true on the track She's got to drive And she's got the guts And that's why she's gonna run with us It's in the blood in your veins You can't be tamed It's passed down through your family name It's a pack of dogs Coming through the pines Lights of fire in a young boy's eyes It's the word of the hound It sounds just right It's dog tired How we getting along, Mason? Long walks. My old knees are getting tired. What's the situation here? We, uh, Billy's sitting at 150 plus. Lefty's got a 125 plus. Billy's made a circle tree. We headed to Lefty right now. He's about a mile and a half when he got him treed in. Billy's got rock treed back behind us a long way. Uh, I think we've been walking hunts over right now. We've been walking about 35 minutes and we about five, 600 yards from, from left of here, so. How you feeling, Michael? I feel like Rock's gonna have a coon too, even if I got one and this walk was for nothing, probably, but <laughs> all we can do is hope. I sent John around to run him off, but he's too short and fat, he'll never make it there. <laughs> <laughs> We'll beat John back to the rock. <laughs> Billy, how you feel it? Oh, it's just gonna come down to who, who's got the coons. If they, if they both got the coons, I'm gonna probably get a lucky deal on a, on a tree, maybe. You know, it, it should have been circled, but it, it, I, you know, everybody with thermals now kind of can tell if they're there or they're not. You know, I probably got a break there on that, on that tree. But we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see if we, if we both got coons, I might luck out. We've had a good hunt we regardless. Had a good hunt, yeah. We've uh, a lot of getting in shape. We've had a little little rain come through. Got some cooler weather. I'd say about another week or so. Most of these leaves would be off. And I'd say it, you could have scored that tree probably a little better. Um, that's what, what I could see like. how that tree could go either way. It, it could, yeah. and I felt like that was the fairest way. I don't think anybody would want to get served. I know anybody. I would. Billy was trying to fist fight me earlier. We had to cut the camera <laughs> off. It got crazy. <laughs> The, 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 I had to put both of them in a headlock. <laughs> Two wards in the ditch. I didn't stop, slap my cap. I do have video proof. We can show <laughs> the camera of me and you wrestling. <laughs> we, may, uh, we may get that footage and edit that <laughs> in. Let's not and say we did. Give me the intro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to show that. That might be the difference. We may have a coon right here or not. <laughs> All right, folks. We're still traveling the lefty. Stay tuned. You could, uh, 
robbed that tree. That one? Hell yeah. Cut across this field. Huh? Cut across this field. Cut across this field. Cut across this field. Cut across this You ready, Billy? Yeah, y'all go ahead. I, I just got time. To go. Time working. I got him. Got him. Yep. There he is. Good job, Billy. Thanks, buddy. Congratulations. Michael left you look good. Yeah, not good enough. Congratulations, Bill. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. You know me. Billy, how's it feel be one and oh when they leave hand their series? Ain't bad. I'd like say I, I feel like I got a lucky break, but the boat dogs done a good job now. They done, they done, they done as good as you asked for. Top in West 10. Tennessee anyway. Top 10 matchup. That is going to affect the rankings. Just knock me down out of the top 10. <laughs> Possibly. We shall see when the rankings come out. <clears throat> Well done to both guys. Eight, Thank nine, you. ten coons we looked at. Three, four we scored on. Four, four we scored on. Four. Mm -hmm. Look at eight or nine. Good hunt. We had a good hunt. Got a lot of walkers. Well, well, boys. What'd you think of? What'd you think the rule set? Pretty good. I like it. I, I like it. I like it. it. You know, hands up. It's it's pretty fast paced. You know, dogs has got. Time, you know, time to work, you know, in any area, I guess, you know, uh, I, 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 like me and Mike was talking, I thought Lefty was going to have him tree in first, mm -hmm. I thought he was going to have an mm -hmm. extra tree, Rock somehow got got that extra tree. <clears throat> what needs change? The only thing I seen that I thought was a little weird was uh, like cutting one off of a tree and nothing struck going back in for a quarter instead of the highest track. But I mean, I'm sure you got a reason for that. I just didn't mean tie break, The tie breaker was a real reason because I worried about tie mm -hmm. if there were, there were more than one set of strikes. I get what Michael's saying. With just two dogs. So, mm -hmm. I, yeah. Because I mean, in that situation, say without Brock's extra tree. Right. You know, both them dogs treat two cones, both of them got 50 and 25 strikes, both of them got 100 tree. Yeah, no, You're going to run into a lot of ties. This is the, one, the one thing I've worried about, just having the one set of strike mm -hmm. points. What I do think we need to work on is trying to keep them dogs in here and with each other. Right. And I know we lay a lot on the judge on doing that, and he has the ability, because, I mean, it's the judge's cat. He has the ability to make sure and try to keep dogs in. Yeah, with, which it wasn't a matter with mine, but with the with the no six and yeah. stuff like yeah. that, you'll have dogs scattered out a little exactly. bit. Exactly, especially if you're hunting dogs that ain't barking a lot. Do you think rewarding the dog that treats your first team on a tiebreaker, do you think that's smart? I, mean, I do, and Ryan Croson actually brought that up to me, too, when we first started coming up to these tonight. rules. <laughs> <laughs> and Ryan did bring that up, yeah, and that is that is something well, we considered. But like, if I, I was truck, have, maybe at least, you know, no six or nothing like that, but maybe at least walking back toward where we last heard about, him. To I cut thought about him. maybe putting something in where, like even if he's treed, you know, or, you know, or if he's not barking, just 
the area you heard yeah, it where you walk there because yeah. if you walk a mile you're putting that dog completely yeah. out because i know we leave a lot on the judges and we want to do that mason done a pretty good job tonight he but also we need to uh we need to put that in writing i think yeah mm -hmm. like me not being struck it don't matter yeah. i mean we walk a minute cut, just like you would in anything let's say i would have been struck and we walk over here half a mile away yeah. from mine at least try to get back where we last heard him and, yeah. and cut right and on a normal night when it ain't raining Right. It ain't as big a deal heard, anyway. Which you could hear a mile and a half. Yeah. 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 I couldn't believe you could hear him so far. We just got in that golden spot. Where yeah. 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 I think seeing on that hill, hell, hell, carrying a truck across that bottom hill. Yeah. Well, congratulations, Billy. Thank you. There's your win money, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Good hunting with you, buddy. Appreciate yep. you having us. All right, I feel guys. honored just to be on the list with some of these guys. I mean, we're going to see if you're going to be in the top 10 still after this. This is going to be a big rankings change up. We'll see what happens. We'll see how they vote. But I mean, you know, you get beat by another ranked guy, I don't see you falling a long way when you're getting beat by another ranked guy. That's my theory. And how the dog looks and performed, I think they're going to take into account, too. So, Did we'll the see. truck people get paid? Huh? Did the truck people get paid? They do I mean, They do if they're not John Strickland. I mean, account. we saved John. Thank you.